Hey, it's Mark Tompkins from Buzz Marketing. I'm here with Charlie Pete from Four Pillars Consulting. Welcome, Charlie. Thank you, Mark. Uh, through these times, uh, we're here to talk a little bit about um, how you know Charlie deals with some of the some of the debt that people are going through, and then some of the struggles that that are obviously happening now with um, unemployment and people uh, possibly losing their jobs or getting hours cut back. So, Charlie, can you tell us a little bit about how you can help these people kind of get through these times? Uh, yes. So, Mark, the, one of the main solutions that we help people with is to design and have implement a consumer proposal. That is a regulated process under the Bankruptcy Act of Canada, but it's not bankruptcy. It enables consumers to enter into a negotiated settlement with their creditors to get a repayment of only a portion of the amount that's owing and interest-free over a period of time to a maximum of 60 months. Okay, cool. And what uh, what types of people are calling you right now? Like, what is the typical call that you're getting and, and how do you deal with that? A lot of the calls right now are people are just trying to find out, hey, what are my options? Like, I just got laid off or my hours were cut or I'm on, um, you know, EI. What can I do now? Yeah. And then, so what, what's the process? What, what kind of stuff can you do to help get those people through those tough times? Well, right now we're trying to be a source of information. So with almost 20 years experience in the credit and debt industry in Canada, we are well positioned to inform Canadians uh, of their options as well as the uh, unknown about creditor collections and the impact on the credit bureaus. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And you know, when, when you're kind of going through that, I, I've known Charlie for a long time, and his knowledge in the space of finance and you know debt is you know unparalleled with you know anybody in town. And so he's just a wealth of knowledge. And I've I've asked him a lot of questions, um, you know, for some of my clients and even myself in these in these times because people just don't know. And and Charlie's got a lot of knowledge to to help people guide people through this time. And then he's always on the pulse of you know what's coming up next, what the government is doing. And then Charlie is filtering that out to his clients, so keeping them informed on, on what the best possible um, solutions are and what people should be doing during this time. One of the things that we tell, we're trying to tell people is try, let's not panic right now. And if payments are going to be missed, it's going to be a fact of life for a lot of Canadians. I mean, two weeks ago, half a million new applications for unemployment insurance. And then the banks have tried to come out with some programs and they kind of add more fuel to the fire of uncertainty and panic because when that happens, the first thing Canadians do is they get on the phone, I'm going to have to defer my mortgage payment, what about my car payment, what about my credit card payment? And of course, these unprecedented times have caused a massive amount of call volumes to the creditors. So this is frustrating a lot of people with already high anxiety as to I'm not getting the answer I need, where can this information go, what's going to be the impact on my credit? And the banks are all saying it's a case by case basis. So it's not going to be, oh, we're just going to defer everybody's payments. That's just not going to happen. And the deferred payments are still going to incur interest to be added on. And additionally, negative credit reporting quite potentially. So this is a significant triple whammy as it were, because a hit on your credit now could affect you for years into the future, especially if you need to borrow more money. So what we would like to see is more um, combined effort from the banks to be more open, I guess, to it. But the reality is for most of us, don't try to get on the phone and go crazy talking to the banks at this time. You know what? If you miss a payment, the banks will call you. <laughs> so if you got to miss a payment, you miss a payment. You're not going to lose your house if you miss one payment. You're not going to lose your car if you miss one payment. You're, 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 you might have your credit privileges reduced or revoked, and yes, you will have an impact on your credit. But that should be the least of your concerns right now. Keeping a roof over your head, groceries on the table, keeping your family safe and secure. We're in, going to be in this for a while, and there's going to be a longer-term impact. So look at what the banks are offering. Call them if you don't get an answer. The reality is they'll call you if you miss a payment. So you'll get to talk to them and tell your story at that time. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, Charlie. That's uh, that's some really good information. And and you know, if you are going through some some sort of debt troubles or or have 
you know, questions on that, Charlie Pete is, is a good guy to connect with and he can help you get that through, through that situation. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it.